They can't keep their tongues out of each other's mouths when they're not getting busy five times a day. But are Teresa and Louis a match made at the Jersey Shore, or is he just a gold-digging Italian stallion? After their initial meet-cute at the Jersey Shore, where Teresa Judice once prayed to her late parents to send her a nice man, she and Louis Ruelas kept it low-key, just clear of her September 2020 divorce from Joe Judice. Teresa's primary focus was on her four daughters. That November, she dished a tiny bit about her new man, telling, watch what happens live. Well, you know, it's fairly new, as I told you, so I'm taking things slow and we'll see where it goes from there. But it wasn't long until the romance was in full bloom. Teresa went public on Instagram, writing, "...the best thing that came out of 2020." Louis returned the sentiment about a month later, posting a shot of the pair in Laguna Beach, sharing, "...grateful for this amazing woman." I'm in this amazing love bubble, and I'm protecting it. You want to try to pop my love bubble? It's not going to happen." Like all new Housewives romances, Teresa's relationship has come under the intense scrutiny of her co-stars. Though she claims Louis has no interest in the spotlight, some of her friends were suspicious of his motives. But Teresa is quick to come to his defense. Detailing her new man's debut on the show, she told Entertainment Tonight, "...trust me, from being in the spotlight, it's not fun, you know, and being in the public eye." A February 2022 Real Housewives of New Jersey episode showcased Margaret Joseph's concerns about Teresa's new guy when she said, "...I want to like Louis. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but the jury's out." Teresa then responded in a confessional, "...Louis did not sign up for this, to be antagonized, to be questioned. He's the love of my life. Like, I want to protect him." Teresa has claimed that Louis is the love of her life, and her lovey-dovey Instagram posts only confirm the fact. A source close to the couple told In Touch, "...she says meeting Louis was a gift from God, and she feels like the luckiest girl in the world." But Teresa admits that someone who's fresh out of a 20-year marriage definitely comes with some baggage, and she copped to being nervous about dipping a toe back into the dating pool. But Louis made an impression at the end of their third date when he gave her a kiss. Teresa said at the end of season 11, "...I love that Louis gets me, and I have always wanted that." and it's so crazy because I don't know what the future holds, but this is the best I've felt in a really long time." Louis finally popped the question at a luxury resort in Greece, and reportedly, Teresa was totally caught off guard when Louis got down on one knee. As she told Entertainment Tonight, "...I was totally surprised. I just didn't know where to look first. It was, like, it was just so magical. It really was magical." Teresa later shared the news on Instagram with a gushing tribute to Louis, posting, "...I love everything about you, especially your heart and the way you treat me and my daughters. I am so lucky to have found you. Thank you for coming into my life." Of course, fans wanted the deets on her dazzling new hardware. According to Page Six, one diamond expert estimated the rock to be 8 carats and worth around $300,000. A second thought it might be closer to 10 carats and could have set Louis back a cool $1 million. Keeping the ball rolling, the couple and their kids moved in together. According to the Daily Mail, Teresa sold the home she built with her ex for $2.25 million after it sat on the market for several months. Located just a few doors down from her previous digs, Teresa's new residence, known as Clarence Manor, was purchased for $3.35 million by Louis as a business investment. An insider described the Montville home to Page Six as a Beverly Hills-style mansion in New Jersey, sitting on over five and a half acres. The seven-bedroom house is a sprawling 7,700 square feet. It also boasts a swimming pool and movie theater. But Gabriella brought the dreamy fairy tale down to earth, stating on the show, "...we're gonna be living with two men. We haven't lived with men in six years." When it comes to her daughters, Teresa is extremely devoted and protective. And on a Housewives reunion, she talked about how the girls were coping with all the change in their lives. She noted that while Adriana and Gabriella were adjusting to the divorce more easily, Gia was getting counseling, and she expected that Melania would too. Still, according to Hollywood Life, Louis got the girls' blessing to marry their mom. An insider dished, Louis understandably was nervous when he first started dating Teresa because he wanted to make a good impression for the girls. But ultimately, he knew he had to just be a himself and let the cards fall as they may. While Melania was asked about blending the families in a new home, she said, "...I mean, obviously, if I didn't like Louis, we would not be moving in with him." "...Obviously, I know." Louis really knocked it out of the park when he reached out to Joe Judice about meeting face-to-face. -face. Prior to making a trip to the Bahamas where Joe had since relocated, Louis had previously spoken with Joe on the phone. Teresa explained to Watch What Happens Live, "...he just wanted to talk to him and let him know, you know, that..." You know, he's not trying to take his place or anything." Adding that she was won over by Louis' respect of her family history, as well as his consideration of the best interest of her girls. Teresa shared, "...he just wanted him to meet him since I have daughters, and I just 
thought that was the most wow. thing ever. U.S. Weekly reported that despite any initial awkwardness, Joe Judice was ultimately all about his kids' happiness being top priority. He said, I am genuinely happy for both Teresa and Louis and wish them the best. Having established a co-parenting strategy, Teresa confirmed that Joe would be invited to her wedding if it happened in Italy. And as Joe told Housewives Nightcap at the time, Would I go to the wedding? I mean, I don't care. Why not? Teresa has been open about requiring lots of romantic attention from a partner, and Louis has certainly made several grand gestures in their time together, along with an over-the-top proposal, lavish trips, social media blitzes, and excessive PDA on Watch What Happens Live. Louis took it a step further. He gave Teresa a freak number of 10 out of 10 in the bedroom. Though their intimate life has been portrayed as hot and steamy, Teresa also loves a thoughtful gift. Before she left for the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Louis gave her a bracelet and a stack of eight greeting cards cards, one to open each day they were apart. Go on with your day knowing that you are loved and adored. Love you forever, Louie. Eagle-eyed fans have also noticed that Louis may have had Teresa's name tattooed on his wrist. Whether the ink is real or not, one thing is certain, Teresa is all in. She said on the show, And it's so crazy because I don't know what the future holds, but this is the best I've felt in a really long time. Teresa and Louis tied the knot on August 6, 2022 in New Jersey at the Park Chateau Estate and Gardens in front of 220 guests. Teresa's four daughters, Louis's two sons, and a host of Bravo celebrities were in attendance. The Real Housewives of New York's Dorinda Medley posted to Instagram, A beautiful wedding filled with love, friends, laughter, and happiness. Thank you for letting me be a part of this magical night. Teresa's ceremony look was the custom creation of designer Mark Zunino. Teresa's hair also consisted of $7,000 worth of hair extensions and 1,500 bobby pins to stay in place. But there were some notable faces who didn't show up. Teresa's castmates and family, Joe Gorga and his wife Melissa, were no-shows. With Melissa revealing on her podcast, I did find out on TV that I'm not going to be in Teresa's wedding and I'm not a bridesmaid, which I'm okay with. I'm fine with. And at the end of the day, everybody just wants to see Teresa happy. So I think we're going to see her happily ever after, finally. I'm, I'm happy for her. Dina Manzo also missed the big day. Lots of online chatter focused on a supposed falling out between the two. But a source told Page Six that Dina just didn't want to participate in filming for the show. For her part, Teresa told the outlet, Everything that happened is the way it was supposed to be. Whoever wanted to be at my wedding was there. After their wedding, Teresa and Louis embarked on a whirlwind honeymoon that had them returning to Greece and Italy. The happy couple hit numerous beach resorts, decked out in luxury designer duds, and the pair documented themselves enjoying the local cuisine and the sights along the Mediterranean coast. Teresa posted to her man, I love you. You look so sexy. We're waiting to go into the Dior store. With tastes as expensive as these two have, of course they did some retail damage on their trip. As Teresa put it during the Bravo event in Philadelphia, I can't keep my tongue out of his mouth. He can't keep his tongue out of my mouth. Still clearly in the honeymoon phase, it seems the two have an insatiable desire for each other. Even a former girlfriend of Louis claimed, quote, he demanded that I be available for sex whenever he wanted. And it seems he's met his match in Teresa. The Bravo star admitted that during their honeymoon, they had sex up to five times a day. She shared, we're very sexual and I love it. Cause like, when you love someone, you want to be that way with him. I can't keep my hands off of him. He can't keep his hands off of me. Louis, everything I've ever wanted and more. We would wish this couple all the best, but it seems they've already got it.